I'm the resident poet, and I'm, I was born here in Calgary. I uh, started when I was in grade six, so, and, I, and when I was 12, and I'm almost 15 now. And, um, well, to me, when I think of poetry, I think of what the artist feels and what the writer wants to write and wants his readers to hear, or in this case, listen. Because they say poetry is, lay, is laid out for you and should be written by the book. Yeah, no, forget that. <laughs> Absolutely not. When I write my poetry, I don't write what the school makes me write. I write what I want to write. This is my passion. This is what I love to do. And I write this stuff day in and day out. And boy, do I need to sleep more. <laughs> so not too long ago, I was actually... I had a bit of a situation today. Boy, I need to just get out of these situations more often. And, uh, yeah, so, I, this poem's called Don't Even, because, uh, the, uh, the person that was, uh, making, the person that was, uh, uh, aggravating me at the time was saying that my poetry is not real poetry, and I'm like, what? Absolutely not. This is not, I'm not going to stand for this. So I wrote about this, and I also wrote about the about three people who affected me mostly in my life and helped me a lot and helped me get a lot through all this nonsense and try to help me feel better. So this is called Don't Even. Okay. I'm doing this poetry thing my way, but I can't even believe he said I don't write poetry. So now the way I write apparently is not poetry. You are telling the king that he's not what he made, so the thought, so plot my stuff is not my time to go in, into hiding. Is your high class society dude rocking this, but I could even be a get, be ghetto, so if you want to tread on my turf, turf, I could realize the hounds could be released and throw in your cell. I'm writing like I'm a rapper, but I, but your lame attempt to question me is ridiculous. Even I recite like I'm Neo. I can show you the door, Real people find what they're looking for as soon as possible. Love is the energy and is what's keeping me alive. I also speak in coded language. I can explain this and how I slain this. It's plain and simple because it takes a fake, to make a fake, way to take away someone's ID. You see the way someone could easily say they're not true, but this is what it sounds like. You don't play him true. So if I sing in harmony and melody, you know I'm at ease. But if you seize the day to prove you're not a fake, take your chance. I'll talk mine and dance at the year-end awards via Lightning Taekwondo. Blessed day, seven years ago, I came in there and signed up. No one had no idea or realized what he's done for me. Because if I did not join, I probably would have been your everyday kid smoking that blunt and being a little half pond doing, every, doing anything for the coke. So make, make smoking die in vain. I am also glad I am no longer alone doing this because I'm, I am out of the dark ages. But now I'm with people like Callie. She got tricks and fixed these people with a simple knock out. <clears throat> then you got two, two main girls, Laura Arthur, and Razan, AKA Selena. She's the girl I love. I swear she's from above. So I call her Razan, my angel. Those three people help me keep my nation alive and Cali is my creation. I am poetry sensation. My tradition is if you mess up a facile, like we showed you were the ones who bring that mixed kid talent and I love writing a ballad. I am not crazy like Charlie Sheen, but if you go mean and come to my scene, and you, and you see that you don't even assume I'm a fake, because I'll take you to where it all began. Okay. Actually, I wrote this one just yesterday. Yesterday, I was confused as him. Be like, oh my goodness. Um, I don't know if I was mad, in love, or as scared as can be. So this this poem is called Too Mixed Already. Life has been throwing obstacles at me, 
and already I'm only 14. What the heck am I doing being so mixed already? I have no idea what I'm feeling. It's like a triple threat. Fear, anger, or love. I ask too many questions to find an excuse with those people trying to keep my sanity sane or I don't end up in a sane asylum. But right now, I feel like I'm raising the hounds and get the mother loving blood on my hands and don't ask why. The nation of poetry has been taking so much hits like someone tried to put my kingdom on a hit list so my soldiers can be taken out. Razan have taken a lot, while Laura have had her fair amount, but Callie, that mixed kid, could be next. This woman burns through my veins every time she comes into my life. I feel like forging my fists on a sandbag, tiger like the subways of New York. Probably send her to Forks so my tirade may end so I can send these mixed feelings away, so stay away from my stress. Hmm. Blessed to have met her, because lately I can't get her out of my head. I don't feel that pathetic no more, because she makes me magnetic to her. Transition like my mood swings, flaring and sharing multiple sides of me. Should I get the blood on my hands? Should I feel like I'm blessed? Or maybe even scared? Beyond our reason, because no one can see the season, had begun for me. Now it's my time for you to see something new. I flew by most of these people, trying to work my way up. And now I'm a king, trying to sing my girl, but Rosanne, I one, four, three. Thank you, Ray Ray, for inspiring me to work harder and trying to make a verse. And I curse the fool who I'm sure is not doing that well. Say this is my original creation with the nation and my resurrection from almost the event of my demise, which is just as sweet as the day I fell in love with you know who. Brennan Basile had come, came for everyone to produce and show you that I approve myself, but my feelings are so mixed that I feel like I am mixed with Dr. Dre. I don't know if I should do the same thing as him and spend five years in a gym and hiding with no one but Callie by my side so I can enjoy the ride and be mixed as it is. So this is my last poem of the night. Ah, I should have brought more. I'm enjoying this. The, the poem has a lot of meaning behind this because um, I'm like the, I'm the usual kid that's, I was a kid that was mixed in with the wrong group. I was in a school full of athletes, and I'm not no athlete. I'm a, I'm a performer artist. I love performing, I love getting up on stage and doing this. This is my passion. So, um, <clears throat> when I met this one girl, I swear to God, I didn't know, not know what love meant or even felt like until I met her. So this is what, so this is called the love story. Let me explain my love story. Starling, started looking for just the girl, not knowing this love game. Did not know the lame thing I was doing. So now my story goes a little like this. I wrote a lot of love poems, but they had no meaning to them. But when I was seeing you, I thought my chance could get better with someone that loves me. But sure, it was not fake. For someone to make their love story, I always tell her not to worry, but I know she loves me and will worry about me till she sees a smile on my face. Each and every day and everywhere, whoever is always her on my mind, because I can't find myself to think about anything else except her. So I am mindless, because I am not thinking about anything but the true love of Mr. Brendan Evans. Is all that's on my mind is her. Ever since March 4th, she and I would text day in and out, even the, in the late night phone chats we were having, sharing a laugh and showing each other love, telling each other we both from above in the heavens and were the angels for our lives. Before I met her, I was in pain. I felt like the rain was on my veins, pelting me like the hail where a sign to set sail, and I felt like I was almost the only thing left for me. But now it's like I'm riding the love ride, looking good like I should. I know she don't want a hood rat, but she loves it when I scat. But uh, but another that's another story for another day. I must say this one part, 
even today, at this very moment, I'm madly and crazily in love with her because she got me doing, losing my mind because my love for her cannot describe or even be described for that matter. I can't even find the right poem to recite about her because my love goes as far as the stars of the world can go. She's surely out of this world, and this is my love story. Alrighty, so yes, this is my last poem, and just a few more quick words. I am releasing two albums, my first two albums of poetry, either early August or late July. And, uh, and I'm also working on my third album, Poetry Love, and the first two albums are Behind the Scenes and The Beginning. And the last one was dedicated to my girlfriend who I'm crazy about. <laughs> so, without further ado, I give the mic back to Scott, and have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>